What's up guys, Legia here. I decided to start something new to go with Dingo's playing of the Talos Principle. I'm going to be playing Battle Block Theater and you can just take some time to appreciate this amazing theme music, it's honestly incredible. <laughs> I just, I just love it so much. Anyways, let's get going. Alright, I'm going to go with blue because... Because, you know, fits in with the whole Legia name if you know what I'm talking about. Well, good for you. Anyways, I'm gonna be quiet for a moment so that you all can appreciate this exposition. Good evening, boys and girls. Ladies. Mmm. And a gentleman. Turn the lights down low and shut your faces as I wrap you in the cozy blanket of a story. A story as heartwarming and soft as a mother's kiss. Or is it? Shh. Once upon a time, there was a boat. Now, this wasn't just any boat, children. It was a ship. A ship full of friends. Hundreds of friends. Best friends, one and all. A veritable friendship it was. Get it? But it wouldn't be very ladylike of me if I didn't mention the most noteworthy friend on board. Hattie Hattington. Say hi to Hattie. Hattie was like king friend of Friendship Kingdom. Best friend to one and all, and the walking definition of handsome gentlemen. Now, one fine morning, Hattie and Pal set out for a new, exciting adventure. What fantastic wonders would they discover this time? Perhaps they'd come across a scary ghost ship. Perhaps they'd find an island made entirely of candy. Perhaps they'd meet a band of scary, swashbuckling pirates and join forces to find an island made entirely of candy. Who knew? But it didn't matter. So long as they were together, there were smiles to be had and adventures to be shared. Now today, it was a day like any other adventure day. Spirits were uncrushably high, everyone was singing and dancing and having a jolly time. When Suddenly, the ocean was all like surprise, and a huge, massive storm brewed out of nowhere. Boy, that was quick. And there was thunder. Boom! And the lightning. Boom! And the wind. Boom! And like that, it was over. Is everyone okay? said Hattie. I don't know what I'd do if I lost even one of you, Hattie continued. But the eye of the storm is very misleading, children. Never turn your back on it because the ocean was all like, psych! And it came back even bigger this time, twice as big. As if Poseidon himself extended his hand in friendship and they spat in his mouth. Boy, he was pissed. He was mad. Then the rain came down like a shower of bullets ah, ah. and the floorboards were buckling and creaking and breaking and pieces of their ship were raining down like shards of broken dreams and then Reginald comes upstairs and he's all like I say gentlemen I do believe we're in quite a spot of father and everyone else was like really what tipped you off genius and then Hattie was all like hey be nice whoosh, 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 whoosh. huge giant waves thrashed the boats to and fro fro and to carelessly sprinkling friend after friend into the cold unforgiving abyss of the deep Deep, dark ocean. Everyone was screaming like, help me! Splash! Splash! And there was this huge whale like, Mwah! made it super scary. And I think there was a shark. Yep, there he is. Oh, God. And then Hattie was all like, hold on to your butts. Land ho! And bang, 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 smash! A shipwreck has foretold by their fate books of fate. And while it seems like the end, this is merely the beginning of another fantastic journey for the brave crew of the SS Friendship. What a strange, mysterious island. And what's this? The shore is riddled with little friend-sized footprints. I guess the tide brought them to land. How utterly convenient. But where have they gotten to? Hmm. Maybe our friends came in here to take shelter from the rain. That's smart. But geez, what a gloomy place. Ever heard of spring cleaning? Anyways, I think he's done talking. Now, um, so yeah, we shipwrecked. Oh dear. So, um, this is just the tutorial stage of the game. Basically, you can j double jump, you can, you know, it's a platformer. You're just gonna be getting from one place to the other by platforming. Also, there's cats. Lots and lots of cats. Oh, happy day. It's Hattie. And look, he's made some wonderful new friends. Ooh, and they got him a present. How thoughtful. Hey, wait a second. I don't think that was a present. Ha! Those guys aren't wonderful new friends, are they? Just stay hidden and keep quiet. They haven't seen you yet. Oh, no, they see you. Clench your butt. This isn't going to be good. Ah! Yep, that wasn't good. That wasn't good. 
wasn't good at all. Well, here we are. <laughs> yeah, I'm now a prisoner. So, uh, what's interesting is that even though, like, the story began from the beginning, I still have all my stuff. But, anyways, that's not important. What is important is that, well, we're in this mysterious place and I have no idea where I am right now. But anyways, you'll notice that, um, after do these levels, and by the way, I'm gonna try to get all the gems and such. I don't know if I will be able to, because I've only played up until about World 3 before resetting, but anyways, let's get into the level. Time to find some gems. Time to find some gems. Yeah, so anyways, the, um, levels are pretty self-explanatory. You've, um, you have to find gems. Like, three gems unlocks the end of the level. And, um, yeah. And every now and again, the, uh, narrator's gonna s insert a little quip, like, right here. Master of the floating air yarn. Yeah, you, uh, press the, um... I think it's the X button on the 360 controller, I believe, to, uh, to, um, attack. Anyways, I'm just looking for the last few gems. If there are any in the first level, there might actually just be three. Yeah, the cats can get pretty annoying at times, especially in the later levels. But anyways, I think there's only three gems in this level. I don't know. I guess so. I don't know, that was pretty short, pretty easy. Your standard first level affair. Yeah, only three gems. Yeah, and in addition to finding all the gems, you have to find a ball of yarn, and you have to complete the level in a fast time. So, this game can get pretty hectic at times. But anyways, these uh, clouds you can walk through, but you can walk through and stand on. Okay. And, uh, the water kills you. Like, yeah. Like that. Anyways. The goal is to, um, obviously find all the gems and not get killed by the cats. Like, there, yeah, the cats can get pretty irritating at times. Yeah, but the narrator's pretty fun to listen to because he's... Because he just has a bunch of things to say and it's all quite amusing. Anyways, I believe that's it for this level. way to find out when the, uh... Yep, we're good. Alright, moving on to the third level now. As you can see, you know. Maybe a bit more tricky, but not that much more tricky. Yeah, and also, I am by no means, like, a pro necessarily at this game. It's just, it's just something that I want to do for fun, and I think it's enjoyable. Anyways, yeah, those, um, I guess they're lava blocks or something. They, uh, instead of killing you, like how you would expect, they launch you instead, so that's a thing. Okay, I don't know what happened there. Um, but yeah. Just going through the levels, collecting yarn, not too terribly interesting. Oh yeah, also there's, um, oh, I thought there would be something hidden there, but I guess not. Okay. Game making a fool out of me, I see.
And yeah, it's um. Yeah, it's interesting as well because like. Um, I'm gonna get to the gift shop in a moment. I just want to clear the uh, next row of levels. I sure hope you find gems and not death. Yes, death would be bad. I wish I knew who the narrator was. I thought it was Hattie, but I don't think it's. I don't think it's Hattie so much, actually. Who knows? I could be wrong. But yeah. Also, the attacks. Also, the attack system is interesting because it's kind of like uh, it's kind of works like Super Smash Brothers, where um, entering a direction on the. Uh, Unlike the control stick or the D-pad, depending on what you're using. Um, oh yeah. Also, there's hidden blocks. But yeah, inputting a direction and attacking has you do different attacks. For instance, up and X does that, down and X does that, etc. Yeah. Yeah, again, I'm... I'm not so terribly excellent at this game. I mean, obviously I'm like dying at, in World 1, like there, I could have done better. But you know. But you know, just uh, getting used to this game again while, um, while I play for it, while I play it for a bunch of people on the internet. Yep. Anyways, these levels aren't too terribly interesting, you just kind of, um, get to the exit. I might have messed up, I don't know. Yeah, I, uh, didn't get the gem, so I get to cut this part out. Yay! Anyways, you know, here we are at, um, was it Act 2, Scene 1, I guess? Anyways. I'm just going through collecting all the gems and such. While I'm avoiding cats. Hopefully they're little hairballs or yarn balls. I'm not sure, actually. Don't, um, interfere. But yeah, there are invisible blocks as well, which will, um... Which will get a little problematic. Um... Later in the game, but for now they're not... It's not too bad. Anyways, I'm just going through collecting all the gems. Like, for instance, right here, there's a gem. And also, the narrator will tell you if you, like, have one more gem, if you listen to him. It's pretty good for keeping track of what you need to do. Anyways, I'm, anyways, I'm, I'm sorry if I'm like, I'm sorry if I'm like speaking just to speak. I'm still like, I'm still like new to this whole thing. So just bear with me. So just bear with me while I get used to everything. Ah. Drowning's bad, kids. Don't drown. Anyways, that cat was annoying, so I killed him. Anyways, yeah, you can call the boats over by pressing RT. Or in my case, it would be the R2 button, but I'm using the PS4 controller. Anyways, yeah, you're just uh, going through the levels, collecting yarn and gems. It does get to be pretty fun, though. Alright, that should be it. Yeah. Yeah, once again, we get another A+. Um... 
it gets pretty easy to um to get a pluses until like until like um, I would say world three in which case it gets harder to do um there are some parts that can trip you up even in world one like um when you get to the like the last levels in world one it gets to be pretty tricky but yeah and yeah you're also um Oh yeah, and here's something new. Yeah, those things will will kill you if if you uh, stand in their line of fire. Anyways, just going through collecting gems, like I said. Yeah, world. World 1 does give you a pretty good, like, explanation overall of how to play the game. It, it really does ease you into the game, and that's pretty good. Alright. So, that now that that's done, I, I guess I'm going to show you the gift shop. Um, yeah, the gift shop. This is where you, um, this is where you go and spend all those gems that you've collected. And also, if you go here, you can hand them a bunch of yarn, and they'll give you a weapon. Um, yeah, if you, uh, if you press the Y button, you give ten gems, and then you unlock a, uh, guy. And then you can, and then you can choose his, uh, face. Then you can choose his face if you're customizing your character like this, like... I believe it was this guy, or was it... Or was it... No, it was him. Yeah. Anyways. Anyways, um, I think that's... I think that's it for today, so, um... Thanks for watching. If you like this, um, give a thumbs up, and... If you want to see more stuff from the channel, you can subscribe, and, um... Oh, spoilers. Uh, um, this is the uh, end door, by the way. Anyways, uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.